Long Beach Police Department has been using AOPR for over six years. Um, really excited about the technology. We've come a long way. Uh, this car here represents the latest generation of AOPR equipment that we have. We believe in technology, the detectives believe in the technology, and we're utilizing it on a regular basis. We started off with four cars. I'm currently working on a deployment of 30 AOPR cars, and our fleet's going to have about 45 in it when we're done. So what we're look, looking at on this computer is the latest generation of Pages, which is our program we use for automated license plate recognition, or AOPR. This particular AOPR system is set up with four cameras. Um, each camera is recording at all times, so no matter what mode you're in, it'll be recording all four of the cameras. We also have other configurations, three cameras and two cameras, uh, based on where the car is going to be deployed and what the needs are. It shows you a picture of the car, shows you a picture of the plate that it caught, and then what it does is it takes that image and using optical character recognition will compare it to a database. Um, in our case, we are running multiple databases. We have wanted felony vehicles, uh, be on the lookout, 24-hour hot sheet, wanted by detectives, LA County warrants, and uh, our gang unit. In addition to this, we have stolen vehicles, uh, which are available to everybody in the state. And currently our database, we have uh, 24 million plus reads. On the screen, it retains a picture of the car, a picture of the plate, what it thought it was. It will also give you the coordinates. If you're in the office, it'll actually map the location uh, for you, so you can see where you saw all your plates. We have a huge parking problem in Long Beach. One of the things that we did is we created a parking database for parking scoff laws. Uh, what that allows us to do is be notified of any plate that has five or more parking tickets on it. If a car has five or more outstanding parking tickets, uh, state law allows us to tow it, and that turns into a revenue generator for the uh, city. Uh, so far, I think we've been online for about three years using parking. Uh, database and we have generated I think in excess of three million dollars. It's catching cars that are parked on the side of the road and through two lanes over, three lanes over. The old technology never would have done that. If we were working a regular police car, I see a car in front of me, I need to run the plate and I search my plate and I wait for a return. 150, 200 plates maximum in a 10 hour shift is what we found was the most that anybody could do. With license plate recognition, um, if you dedicate your day to driving around and, and putting your vehicle in a place where there's lots of cars, you could read anywhere from, from five to 10,000 plates in that same shift. Um, the cameras will catch uh, things you didn't see, cars that you wouldn't have run, and the beauty of it is that it runs everything. It doesn't care who's driving, it doesn't care what the vehicle looks like, all it sees is a license plate. We started this project about 18 months ago uh, through some federal grant funds and we're able to put up seven different sites that uh, cover most of the ingress and egress points in and out of our city. Uh, we have two major uh, state routes, Interstate 10 and Interstate 210 that run through our city uh, and well over a million uh, vehicles travel off those on and off ramps in any given uh, week. We only have 13 patrol cars in our, in our police department and we equipped every single patrol car with, the, with these cameras mobily and we're equipping five intersections throughout the city. Any crime that occurs, all we have to do is check the intersections for the times that we're looking for and we're gonna see the criminal vehicle coming through that intersection. As we all know, criminals don't know boundaries and, and they're very mobile in today's environment and so the, the automated license plate readers in both the fixed and the mobile environment offer us solutions to enhance the services and, and provide a, a greater protection to our communities. And then sharing that data on a, on a more regional scale as well as eventually, I think statewide, we uh, subscribe to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's server and so we're able to look at uh, license plates, uh, people of interest that are driving those vehicles and, and pull data from that to see if and when they were in certain areas. We're able to share that data with uh, the agencies that surround us uh, and, and oftentimes we find that we have criminals working the whole corridor uh, of cities from 
uh, eastern part of Los Angeles all the way to the western part of uh, San Bernardino County. There's no doubt criminals cross borders. They don't recognize what city they're in. They don't care. They go wherever they want to go to commit their crimes. And having the ability to research and see what hits San Bernardino Police Department has are criminals that are coming from Los Angeles. It sees every, everything that's going on out there and we're, we're seeing tremendous stats. Over that two month period, and we've recovered 65 stolen vehicles. Some of them have been occupied stolen vehicles and only 17 of them were, were stolen from our city. So everybody that's from other jurisdictions coming into our city, this license plate camera is catching. There's no way we would have recovered 65 stolen vehicles in a short period of time without this system. We've had uh, a, a string of residential burglaries where uh, on the third burglary in two days they identified a vehicle leaving a suspicious vehicle. It was a black Tahoe. Uh, the detectives were able to follow up uh, within 10 or 15 minutes of that burglary, check the uh, automated license plate readers that were at a fixed location nearby that burglary and come up with the vehicle. Follow-up uh, was conducted by the detectives. They identified the registered owner of the vehicle, a female, and as it turns out, her parolee at large boyfriend was the one driving the vehicle along with another suspect, and they were responsible for the three burglaries. So now those people have been arrested, and they're not going to impact us or some of the other local uh, adjacent cities. The best systems are the ones that combine the mobile and the fixed point cameras, and for several reasons. But number one, you have the fixed point cameras at strategically placed locations you can tell what vehicles were leaving the scene of a crime. They're going to go through that intersection and you'll be able to identify the vehicle. From that point, the, the mobile works in concert with that because the mobile units are constantly driving throughout your city and everywhere they go, they're mapping out your city. They're taking photographs of the cars and the license plates at every location and every house that they go by. You'll identify the cars through the fixed point locations that you're looking for and the mobile cars are going to tell you, their data is going to tell you exactly where you're going to find that car when you start doing your investigation very, very, very powerful from an investigative tool. Well, we're seeing more and more cities starting to add these systems to their mobile uh, fleet as well as the fixed locations as they see the successes that we've had and that LA County Sheriffs and LAPD have had as well as other agencies. If you think a small percentage of the, the bad guys are uh, committing the largest percentage of crimes, we want to get those bad guys off the street, so we, we want to use this as a tool. In my mind, it is an amazing investigative tool that allows our investigators to solve major, major crimes on a regular occurring basis. Oftentimes in a way that if, had it not been for the ALPR, we would not be solving these crimes.